thank you all for coming to this exciting time for Southeastern, Southeastern Athletics and Southeastern Football Program. Uh, a little over a month ago, we were challenged with the task of finding a new head football coach. And today, we're going to announce the 20th head football coach in Southeastern football history. We're very, very excited about it. We feel like we've got uh, the right person to lead us to the next level and, and develop our football program. But before we introduce him, there are a couple people and, and entities that I'd like to recognize and thank. Uh, first and foremost, our president, Sean Burridge. Uh, thank you for the guidance, the leadership, the support that you give us throughout this process. It's been, without your leadership, we, we couldn't have done it. Wouldn't have been possible. Uh, secondly, HR, the Human Resources Department on campus, I've probably given them more headaches and things this over Christmas break and through this process than, uh, than they're normally, uh, uh, than is normal. And they have done, they have came through with, with flying colors and we appreciate their work. And then lastly, but sure not leastly, our committee, our search committee and screening committee, they did an outstanding job. This was an extensive search. Uh, we didn't leave any stones unturned. And uh, as a result, uh, we feel like we've got the best coach that we possibly can get. Uh, Again, a little over a month ago, some of the players and I met, along with Associate AD, Terry Wilmot, and we made a promise here that we were going to get the best coach we could possibly find. Over Christmas break, working uh, throughout Christmas, the day's off, the day's on, we feel like we've done that. So without any further ado, it's my pleasure to introduce to you the 20th head football coach of Southeastern State University, Savage Storm, Coach Tyler Finley. Wow. Uh, I made some notes because I, I think I just knew things are kind of a whirlwind today and moving, uh, coming down here yesterday with the family and all that stuff and getting into a hotel and, and they hadn't been down here yet and, uh, and so just kind of running around from human resources to get the keys and then everything else that I got going on here. So, um, but uh, definitely thrilled to be here. This is exciting. Um, and uh, the trip down here, it's about a six and a half hour drive. And um, I'll tell you what, the, uh, we gotta do something about the toll roads. Because <laughs> uh, I'm not used to the toll roads and I've, I've probably blown through those uh, in recruiting and all that stuff going through here. So um, they owe me. Uh, but you know the thing about uh, the whole process, um, uh, just the, the hiring process and the, uh, the process of, of the you know the interest and, and all that. And, and when I got down here through the interview, I think um, what, what really caught my attention and what, what really made me comfortable with the people, um, just meeting with, with Keith and, and his staff and and around campus and, and the people at the hotel. I mean, just everywhere I went, it just seemed like the people were great and the people were. Uh, very supportive and um, you know that was to me that's a big that's a big uh, a part of uh, jumping into anything uh, that's new so I felt like the vision of what's to come some of the things the upgrades that are going on um, that uh, that I think that we can take this thing to the next level uh, was important and and, uh, and was something that that they, they definitely sold and um, and I'm you know we're already seeing kind of things happening so uh, that that's exciting um, and I think this uh, you know again I think this program is ready you know this program has been good but I think it's uh, it's it's ready to take the next step and and the things are in, are in place uh, to make that happen so uh, I just felt like this is uh, it's the right place to be at the right time um, and I you know I just I can't wait to sit down and at my desk and just kind of take a deep breath and, and prioritize and get going I'm um, excited about the, uh, the team meeting tonight, or uh, at 2 o'clock today, and, and just to get a chance to talk to the players. Um, before I get any further, I want to make sure that uh, just some thank yous and, and recognitions to uh, President um, Barrage. Uh, just uh, had a great meeting with him, uh, very comfortable, very relaxing, and we just kind of talked about all kinds of different things. We've got a lot of acquaintances uh, that we found out with different people along the way. Um, and so that was very comfortable. Um, obviously, a big thank you to Keith uh, for uh, you know just kind of moving this process along and hiring me and making me the the, the next coach here. Um, the committee was great. Uh, again, the people. Um, and then uh, you know I definitely want to thank um, the people from Missouri S and T. I think uh, Mark Mullen, the athletic director there, gave me a, my first chance to become a head coach. Um, you know. It, you jump into a head coaching position for the first time and you think you got it, you know, you think you got a plan and you really don't. And, uh, you know, he allowed me to, 
to uh, make mistakes and correct mistakes and gain experiences and, and build a program that over the last six years. And, um, you know, the players that we've recruited up there and the coaches, the coaching staff that I've had, um, and it's, it's really good to see that they're going to continue that um, with, uh, with their coaching staff. Uh, guys that have been on my staff that know what they're doing. So um, that, uh, you know, and then the community, um, it's really hard to leave a place like Raw. It's a good place, good people. We've met some really good friends. Um, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we felt like this was, you know, time to make another challenge and, and get after that. So um, I want to thank my family. Um, you know, they've, uh, <laughs> sorry, um, my wife, Angela, She's uh, <laughs> I don't get choked up very often. Um, you know, as a coach's wife, um, I, we moved from Los Angeles to Fargo, North Dakota, and she went with me. <laughs> and I, you know, I just figured that was she's the one, so she, she's she's it. But uh, my three kids, and you know, having to uproot them at some point uh, in the next few months, and. Um, bring them down here. They're, they're soldiers. They are, uh, you know, they just kind of go with the, with the wind and, and they trust us. So thank you very much for that. Um, so um, I think, um, you know, just some things to expect. Um, I think there's three kind of three things that we should, uh, that, that I just wanted to talk about real quick um, that what you should expect from our program and, and kind of what you're going to see and how we're going to do some things. And I'm going to get a lot more in detail with the team tonight, but, um, you know, it starts with recruiting. Uh, we're going to recruit our region. We're going to recruit Oklahoma, Texas, um, you know, and then we'll do some things where we've got some, um, you know, I've got some familiarity, but uh, the bulk of who we're going to be bringing in here are, um, you know, the, the Oklahoma and Texas kids, and I think that's what they've been doing here. Um, I, I truly believe in building a foundation from um, the, uh, you know, recruiting high school kids um, from to start with and building a foundation and, and growing them and and getting them to understand our philosophy and how we do things and, um, and, uh, and, and seeing them grow. And I think that's one of the reasons why we were so successful at the places that I've been is because we've always seen and worked with young kids, young you know, freshmen in, in college and, and watched them grow and watched them um, you know, just get bigger and stronger and faster and, and better football players and, and all that stuff. So uh, that's kind of where it's going to start. Uh, and then the next part of it is the developmental part. And I think um, that's one of the things that's really um, intriguing is the fact that there's a new uh, uh, created a new uh, strength coach position uh, performance position that um, I met with uh, Zach Fears earlier today uh, You players that are in here watch out get ready um, He's coming after you um, So it's gonna be a lot of fun and I think uh, you know that's important But the developmental part obviously you know when you think of a, you know the football coach being up here and you know, development in the weight room and all that stuff, but it's going to be a lot further than that. I mean, it's, you know, mentally, you know, we, we want to, we want to develop um, entire human beings. We want to develop them uh, mentally, um, obviously in the classroom, um, socially, um, so that, you know, when they get, they get done with us um, in a, within our football program, we're going to spend so much time with our athletes uh, that they become, uh, uh, you know, great fathers and great human beings, and they can go out and get a, start a career and and, uh, and excel in those areas as well. So it's the total package when when uh, when we run our program, and I think that's that's important. Uh, that's going to be a uh, something that they're going to hear, you know, uh, quite a bit um, uh, from me as they go through our program. So um, there, there's there's life after football, and there's life after college, and we have to prepare them uh, for those uh, for those days to come. So. Um, and then obviously, like I talked about physically, um, improving size and strength and speed, and that's all going to happen. Um, and we're going to find, you know, passionate football players that, uh, that we can believe in, that we can trust. Uh, we're going to build relationships with these guys. And, uh, and it's, it's, uh, it's going to be a fun process to watch, um, uh, to watch this thing to grow and get over the hump. So, um, and then the last thing, um, you know, recruit, develop, and then the last thing is the finish. And the finish is to see these kids graduate. Um, win games, uh, but but you know at the end, um, you know we want them to graduate. We want them to start finding finding jobs and finding careers and seeing and, and, and families and and uh, and then just having a great experience within our program. We, we want these kids, no matter what our win record is, uh, win loss record is. It's it's uh, 
uh, it's, you know, what kind of experience did we have together and, and uh, you know, the lifelong friendships and all that stuff that we can see, so. Um, from a uh, football standpoint, kind of what, uh, one of the things that we're gonna talk about quite a bit um, and kind of the, uh, you know, what you're gonna see on the field and, uh, you know, basically I'm gonna talk about, we're gonna be physical, we're gonna be fast and we're gonna play smart. Um, you know, physicality, I think, uh, more than anything that I learned when I was coaching at Missouri Western, we were probably, you know, we didn't have all the facilities. We didn't have, back then, we didn't have all the facilities, but uh, we were a physical, physical football team. Um, and we, you know, we were able to offensively and defensively, and um, I think, uh, you know, that's something that, that we're gonna, uh, you know, I don't know how physical you are right now, and, and I haven't seen enough of it, but I can't wait to find out, um, but, uh, but physicality. We're gonna play fast. Uh, we want our kids to play fast. We don't want them to be thinking a whole lot. Um, so it's about speed, um, you know, getting to the ball, beat them to the spot, uh, you know, those sorts of things. And then the smart thing, I think, is the thing. Everybody's looking for, you know, physical football players. Everybody's looking for uh, fast football players. But I think the thing that puts you over the top is the, uh, is the intelligence. Um, and that comes from learning the game. That comes from um, understanding the game plan. And then that, that's, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the fundamentals uh, of the game, I think, are important. And um, <clears throat> my first year coaching in high school, I coached in high school my first year uh, out of college. And, um, you know, I thought I was just this young X and O guy that, uh, you know, just you, you find, you know, you draw a bunch of lines up on the paper and all that stuff. But really what it came down to was the fundamentals. And we did it every day. And even to me as a coach, it was like, oh, we've got to get doing other stuff. And um, you just see it. Uh, you see the fundamentals of tackling and blocking and and catching and throwing and, and all that stuff that uh, that really results in in the victories uh, on Saturday because everybody's got good players and everybody's you know everybody you play has scholarship players and they've got players that are um, you know come from different places and all that stuff but at the end of the day who tackles better and who blocks better and that's going to be a huge point of emphasis um, through our through all our practices um, so that's that's the smart. Um, <clears throat> I want to make sure that everybody understands that uh, our program is an open book. Um, everybody's invited in. Uh, well, not everybody. I, anybody that's a that's a southeastern guy. So, uh, but uh, you know, uh, practices are going to be open, and, and you know, we want to invite alums to come and, and watch practice if they're in town, and come into the office and hang out. And, um, you know, go to lunch or whatever. So we want to, it's an open door, it's a, we're an open book, and uh, you know, we, we definitely want to see the alums um, come through here and, and be a part of it. And I, I truly believe in just being a, uh, you know, a student athlete at the college level that um, when, uh, when you get done playing this, this great sport, um, you leave a lot. It's a tough day when you play your last game, and, and you, you have a lot of memories, and, uh, and so a lot of times, and I've seen a lot of programs where they graduate, they're done, and they go on and do other things, and they never hear from the program again, or they never, you know, they don't, they, they kind of lose that connection. And so, you know, I want to make sure that, uh, you know, that, that our alums um, that are, uh, feel like they're a part of our program um, and bring back those memories and, and, uh, and share those memories with us at, uh, at any alumni function or whatever that, uh, that we've got going on. So. Um, to me, that's uh, that, that's going to be a fun part of the process of getting to know the alums and the community and um, and all that. So uh, the students here, we want to you know make connections with the students, and uh, you know I think that um, having a good student section of games. I've heard we've had great, great crowds, um, but uh, you know we want we want the students that are there, and so if we can build a relationship with the students, uh, that just makes our home field advantage that much better. Um, and so we're going to you know, make sure that we build relationships with those people and, and, uh, and whatever we can do and however we can help. Uh, so that's, that's really kind of the, the nuts and bolts and, and uh, kind of what, uh, what's going to be, you know, I guess what you're going to be seeing and what we're going to be doing. And uh, I'm, uh, again, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely thrilled to be here and, and I, I'm excited to get to know all the players and, and, uh, and get to meet with them and just kind of start, start laying the foundation of what the expectations and the standards are. Uh, later today. So thank you very much for coming. I appreciate it. I know it's probably short, but uh, um, I guess I got a lot of stuff to do today. So, <laughs> thank you very much.